And here's uh, the kind of question we've been working on before. Determine the local maximum and minimum of some function here. Okay. So we can start this the same way we've worked at this all along. We're going to take our derivative. Okay. And set it equal to zero. So our derivative here is going to be 15x to the power of 4 minus 75x squared plus 60. And we're going to look for our critical numbers. Um, our critical numbers occur where f primed at x equals 0 and f primed at x does not exist. Okay? Now we haven't talked very much about the cases where the derivative doesn't exist. And that's because mainly we've been working with uh, polynomial functions up until now. We're starting to move into working with uh, rational functions using the quotient rule and things like that. So we're going to come across cases I think where the derivative does not exist and we're going to have to look at how you handle those cases, especially in unit 16 when we're uh, sketching, sketching graphs. But for this function that we've got right here, um, it's a nice polynomial function, so we just have to look at cases where our uh, derivative is equal to zero. So we set this thing equal to zero, and we start to solve. Okay. Let's see, how can we solve this? Well, we can divide through by the 15 to get x to the power of 4 minus 5x squared uh, plus 4 equals 0. And then we can factor this. We're going to have x squared, x squared, 4, 1, and they're both going to be negative. So x squared minus 1 times x squared minus 4. And then from here, we can factor it once more because these are both differences of squares. x minus 1, x plus 1, x minus 2, x plus 2. So our critical numbers are, and I'm not sure why I wrote a 4 in there, plus 1, my mistake. So our critical numbers here are x equals positive 1, negative 1, positive 2, and negative 2. So four critical numbers. If we were applying the first derivative test, we would have, I guess, five columns on our chart that we'd have to fill in. But let's use the second derivative test. So we'll go back to our function here, well, in fact, the derivative of our function, and we will take the second derivative here. So we've got... 4 times 15 is going to give us 60x cubed minus 150x, and that's all we need. And what we want to do is we want to evaluate f double primed at each of those critical numbers. So we'll evaluate it at positive 1, negative 1, positive 2 and negative 2. Okay. So this is basically just um, calculator work here. So let's just write down what the answers are. We get negative 90, um, positive 90 at negative 1. We get 180 at x equals positive 2 and minus 180 at x equals negative 2. And then we're just going to use this to figure out whether these are local max or local min. So if we look at where x is positive 1, let's see. Our second derivative here is negative. So this is local maximum or local minimum. Well, this is going to be a local max. Okay. 
where this thing is positive. Well, let's see, positive, positive. We're going to have a local min. Okay. And same thing for these next two here. If our second derivative is positive, we are going to have a local minimum. And if it's negative, we are going to have a local max. And so in addition to doing this, you'd go back and you would figure out what the coordinates are for all of these points. Um, so this one here is, let's see, we've got a local maximum at 138, a local minimum at 1, negative 38. Okay. And for x is positive 2 and x is negative 2, we've got... Let's see, this is 216, and this is at negative 2, this is negative 2, negative 16. Okay. Where did I lose that? Right here. Okay. Okay. So just subbing those numbers into the formula lets you know whether you've got local max or local min, okay? And we can always confirm this just by taking a look at what our function would actually look at. Got a graph of it sitting right here. Notice this is just going sort of up and down as we go along. So we've got local max, local min, local max, local min. Okay. And that's the second derivative test.